How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Larry's Mail Call and I got a lot of goodies to show you, to share with you and then as always I will do a complete review on each of the items that I'm about to show you. So, uh, just got in from dinner and uh, so far I've had a great day. Uh, I've had my ups and downs but to end the evening it's all been cool. So, I'm really cool with that. So, before I get into Mail Call, uh, People like to see my desk. Why I have no idea. So let's show them my desk what it looks like. Full of stuff. See there? Yep. Full of stuff. I've been working in the pen room on my desk doing a lot of letters and uh, changing out some inks and looking at some nibs, changing out some nibs, working with some pen cases for a review coming up. So I've been real busy. And uh, some of my pin carries I will share with you right quick is the Sailor Pro Gear King of Pins. And here is a lovely uh, Pilot Prayer with a fine nib. I'm starting to get into fine nibs. Not my best nib, but I'm starting to bond with it. And here's what started my Visconti uh, Lava Bronze. Beautiful pin. You know, it, it writes extremely well. I really love this pen. The only thing I don't get from it is that feeling you're supposed to get when you touch lava and stuff. I never get that. And here is a really neat pen for right now. I'm going to name it the Uli. It, because that's what the brand reminds me of the markings. It's a fine nib. Chinese pen. It really writes really nice. And then another Pilot Prera with a medium nib and this pen really is to die for. This pen, for the money you spend on these prayers, you'll get your money's worth. Great fountain pen, nice, wet, smooth nib. Next is my Lamy LX. Yay! And this is the Ruthenium, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, with a black nib. Love Lamy. Love, 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 love Lamy. And Last but not least, oh, I'm sorry, next to last but not least is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim with the Zoom nib. I've done a review on that one. Last but not least, my Leonardo Afinciano, the Hawaiian Blue, the Momento Hawaiian Blue. Beautiful pen, and to match that uh, pen color, I'm using the KWZ Hawaii Blue. So, Let's get that out of the way for now. And I'll set my letters and stuff aside. So, first one for the opening. Here we go. And I'll just show what's in the sack and I will talk more about it later. Is a box. Yay! So, let me open this jewel up. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it with you guys. I would not open the packages up till I share it with everybody else. And Mr. Announcer, can you read what you can on that? It's Japanese. Uh, it is Sailor Professional Gear. And then this word is sort of marked out. It starts Just, off with she. Okay. And it's a uh, four season edition. Okay. Haru Zora. Good. Okay, good enough. That, that'll work. So let's take the sleeve off real quick, and it's a nice cardboard uh, firm box it comes in with Sailor. Really nice. So let's open this jewel up. Is it taped somewhere? No. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Look at that pen. Isn't it beautiful? That is a gorgeous pen. Looking at the size. That's going to be about the slim, I think, as well. Don't you agree? That's yeah. a slim. And that's a slim, so that's really sweet. Let's see anything underneath. It does come with a cartridge, and I do have a new converter for it. So that looks pretty sweet. So put that away for now. Let's go to number two. Are we ready for... Another holy grail that meets up to these big guys. I love these. These pens are grail pens. 
I know I have more than one. So, here we go. Here we go. The opening. Can you guess what pin it will be? That's the exciting part. What pin do you think I got? First of all, the important stuff, Tootsie Roll! Yay! Yay! And, you know, it comes from Goulet, so you get a, a sticker, I believe now. Cool, Goulet pens. And you get a receipt, that's even cooler. So, let's open this jewel up. I hope you will love this as much as I am going to love it. Let's take it out of the sleeve. It's Nanti. And here we go. What pin do you think I got? That's the first question. Here we go. Look at that baby. Look at this beautiful baby. That's the lava. Done in red trim with the Dream Touch nib, palladium nib. And I think this one's called the Magma. Yes, sir. It is. Their newest, latest one. Beautiful fountain pen. Be beautiful. Uh, it's just like the bronze, but in red. But what nib do you think is in here? Extra. Fine, fine, medium, broad, what? Well, that would be a difficult guess because normally you're into mediums. Right, yeah. But you have been experimenting with fines lately. Yes. So yes. I'd say one or the other. Yes. Which one do you think? Uh, I'll play safe and go with the medium. And you're wrong. Ding, I went with the fine this time because this one is a medium. So, and they both write real wet. I was watching uh, the writing on this. So I went ahead and I said, you know what? I've got the medium, so I'm going to go with a fine. And let's see if there's anything under here. Probably not. You got your warranty cards and good stuff. So I think that's all that comes in here. So let's put this back up. That's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And, you know, the... Uh, what has changed is the pin case. You know, they used to come out with these nice, beautiful, elaborate pin cases. Well, they come out with a nice pin case. It's a cardboard, sturdy pin case, but they put their money into the fountain pen instead of the pin case, which, you know, I can dig that. So, nothing wrong with that. Now, we're not done. We're just getting started. So, are you ready for number two? Here we go. Here we go. Number two. Three, actually. I'm sorry, number three. You're correct. That's right. Number three. Yeah, we just came in. We had Mexican food. Oh, it was good. Yeah, we ate at our number one Mexican restaurant, Polito's. All right. Well, first of all, I got a cool A5 notebook by Bond Traveler Gear. Now that looks cool. All right. Then got all this stuff. Stuff. Cool stuff. So take this over here. And then I got a note. Okay. All right. So
the person who sent this will stay silent due to his wishes. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say he? Oh. And during the year, these pens with many other pens will be giveaways with some pen cases as well. A whole lot of cool stuff is going to be happening here. So, enough jabbering and let's get on with the <laughs> yeah! pens. Oh, it's like Christmas. So here we go with the note on them. And I better leave that note on because surely I will forget. There's the Noodler's Ahab and the Delight New Moon. The Noodler's is the yellow and the Delight is the blue. And here's the Pilot Metropolitan and the Jin Hao 992. Right. And I'm so glad that he marked them with what. Alright. Here we go again. These are the Jin Hao's 750. Beautiful pins. Really nice. And here is the FBR Himalayas Fountain Pen Revolution. Beautiful pens. Look at that. Gorgeous pens. And we're not done yet. More to come, my friends. I need to start getting some giveaways, don't I, Mr. Nance? Yes, you do. I'm like behind on everything. Okay, here are my favorites coming up as far as the Jin Hao's are concerned. The mighty Jin Hao 159. These are the pins that got me started with the Mont Blanc 149. These little babies right here. I mean, they rock and roll. Love them. And thank you to the sender who sent me these lovely pins and the notebook. It's so kind and thoughtful of you. Last but not least, check out these babies. The Jin Hao 992. In blue, red, green, Looks like an orange, and this one looks like a dark brown or black, maybe. What do you think? That one's, I would say that one's brown and that one's black. Black, brown, black, yeah. blue, red, green. Yep. So, wow. Okay. That is cool. And, you know, the 992s are pretty decent pens. Yeah, there's been a few problems I've heard. With some I've had on mine. Mine opened a pin drawer one day and the, the top of the finial was cracked. So I glued it together. It still writes fine. It just cracked. I don't know why. So this is the pins. All right. Now we go into the grand finale. Okay. Last but not least, and this one comes from Pin Chalet. And thank you, Pin Chalet. I believe that's Ron at Pin Chalet. Pin Chalet always has some great deals always going on. I think they have like is it 10 or 15 percent off when you use the code? So, and uh, really prompt on getting your goodies to you in safe and sound. So, when, when I saw this pen, I had to have it because I review pens, right? And people were asking me, well, how does this kind of nib write? And I won't say the name yet because that will give away what it is but after I show it to you then I will tell you a whole little story so let's get this going on here uh, howdy mates uh, so hope everybody's having a great day today here in Fort Worth Texas it is 55 chilly nasty ugly outside raining 
just horrible. And we're supposed to be in spring right now. And I've been feeding my squirrels, and they're doing well. They love the corn on the cob. Cubby's doing well. Yep. So, let me put all that in there. All the peanuts. And here that 10% off. And get this going. Wow, 830. All right, here we go. This is the Diplomat. Right? Okay. Now, anybody want to guess what kind of pen it is? Mr. Announcer? I have no clue. Okay. Everybody ready? Put your guesses in the comments if you want. Does this box give it away? Well, let's turn it over. Ready? Here we go. Diplomat, but what? Well... I shall show you, my friends. Look at that. Oh, that's like the blue one that you have. Yes, yes. Is that beautiful or what? Let's take this out for a second. See what's underneath here. And you got a couple of cartridges and your warranty card. Made in Germany. Now, beautiful pen. The other one I have is a gold nib, 14K. This is a steel nib. The pen wrote so well, people were asking me, well, do you have a steel nib? How well do they write? Well, I didn't have a steel nib, so I saw this at uh, Pen Chalet. It was a great deal, so last one of this one, and I got it. What kind of nib do you think's on it? Uh, fine. Leave your comments below. Mr. Announcer said, fine. And the nib is fine. So, got two fines in. Yeah, you know, I, it, it, you know, it really is hard when it comes to making that decision for me on what nib I want the pen to be. Uh, but uh, my viewers have been interested in fine nibs as well. So, to try to make everybody happy, I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And, uh, fine nibs aren't bad. Uh, you're not going to get that uh, same pop from your ink that you would from a medium or a broad, double broad, uh, one point zero stub 1 1.1 1 1.3 1 1.5 1 1.9 etc 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 bigger nibs wetter nibs lays down more ink and you can really see that sheen super shine popping out of the ink which I love so here you have it this one will join its brother the blue one I have that I fit in love with the nib as well beautiful pen extremely nice writer and I'm hoping big things out of this one well that's going to do it my friends thank you for my work table today it, would you like to see what it looks like now Mr. Mouser let them look at the whole thing there we are da -la -la -la. that's what it looks like now and you know I may clean up my table two or three times a week if it needs it like this and everything's perfect immaculate everything's in place and before you know it voila it's like this and i'm saying oh mama mia so papilla look at the table que pasó con la mesa a la 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 but anyway hey thanks for joining me on larry's mail call today and let me share what i got in the mail with all you wonderful people out there. You people are the stars. You are. Thank you for letting me come into your home. And thank you for taking the time to sit down and watch my videos. I hope you enjoy my videos. Hit that like button. That helps me more than you know. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you tap on that little bell, it's going to notify you, voila, when I upload a video. So, when do videos come up? Well, we have videos come up every day. Uh, we've had problems uploading to YouTube. Some have been canceled. We don't know why and had to reload them. And then all the ones that were loaded, they never went through. And thanks to the viewers, you guys out there that let me know, say, hey, are you okay? Is everything okay? Because we haven't seen any videos in a few days. Well, we checked it and we find out, for some reason, they weren't going through. So we had to do it all over again. But anyway, thank you guys. Love you guys. You guys are dynamite! I will check you later. Be cool. Take care. Peace. I'm out of here.